This week on The American Athlete. I'm Jerry Schimmel. And I'm Brad Cooper. And this is The American Athlete. I'm Jerry Schimmel, radio announcer for the Colorado Rockies. I'm Brad Cooper, CEO for U.S. Corporate Wellness, and we're part of the team Enduring Hope. I think when you talk about marathon cycling, you're talking about any distance, probably over 100 miles, and you can go anywhere from there to 3,000 miles across the country, which is what Brad and I did in this crazy race. But I think every time, anytime you get over a century, we call a century ride a 100-mile ride, you're talking about an ultra-distance cyclist, and, and that's what, what uh, through mental instability, I have fallen into. And he's alone with that. I, I'm a triathlete. This is the only time I've ever in my life ridden more than 140 miles. So I do not come from that background. We depended completely upon his insanity for that one. <laughs> Pretty much whatever you can fit, you do. There's no way to train for riding 3,000 miles in seven days, so you just, you know, we were both very busy professionally, you fit in whatever you can. My strategy was I took my previous swim and run time and devoted it all to cycling. So just get on that bike and ride and try to keep the power up as much as possible, because you're not gonna be racing, it's not like a time trial where you just go for an hour and do everything you can. You go for an hour, you do another, 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 another. It's, it's never ending. So just a lot of volume. And then I added a few weekends where I'd take a Friday off and I'd do a 12 hour ride Friday, a 10 hour ride Saturday, and an eight hour ride Sunday and just see how my power would drop off and try to keep that sustained as much as I could. And monitor, okay, if I'm at 220, can I hold that for eight hours? What if I dropped to 210? Can I hold that for 14 hours? So it was a lot of that experimentation. For me, the training was almost more challenging than the race itself because I do the Rockies on the radio in the middle of baseball season and we play every day. You get a day off every two weeks on the average. I just didn't have time to train. So I just tried to get on the bike as much as I could and when I was on the bike, tried to get good quality riding in. And a lot of that was on the road in a hotel fitness room on a stationary bike. And I remember one, one day off a couple weeks before the event, we had a day off in Los Angeles and I, at the hotel fitness room, I rode for an hour, went back to my room for an hour, rode back for an hour, and I did that eight times over 16 hours. I did eight hours on and eight hours off, basically, and tried to simulate RAM. Race Across America, is, it, it's a crazy race. It's an epic race. It's been going on for 30-some years now, but it's a race from the West Coast of America to the East Coast. In our particular case, this course was Annapolis, Maryland to Oceanside, California, 3,056 miles, I think it turned out to be. And it's a nonstop race. For a relay team like Brad and I, we're riding 24-7 and you compete against other teams. We actually won the two-person relay division that year, 2015. Beat a couple four-person teams, which is part of the film, uh, our competition against them. And you can also do this race as a solo rider, and you get 12 days to finish as a solo racer. So that's a, that's a gigantic challenge as well. We thought it was challenging enough just to do two people. It was interesting because even though we only talked for maybe 10 minutes the whole time, we kind of read each other's minds. There was a day, and I think we even show it in the film, where I was just really hurting. And he just volunteered. We didn't go to him and say, Jerry, any way you can. He was just like, hey, I'll take a little extra. Wow, that's what I needed. So it, it was just weird. It was, it was kind of cool. I did think a lot about our crew. I, I really, especially the last couple days, because we had this incredible crew that took over the race. I mean, after two or three days, you stop thinking. You, you don't really know what you're doing, and they tell you when to eat and when to drink and when to ride. Which way to go. <laughs> and, and which direction to go once you got out of the RV in the morning. So uh, I was relying on them, and I, and I was thought about them, didn't want to let them down, and, and that was a great motivating factor for me, thinking about the crew, thinking they have taken two weeks out of their schedule to get to California, to fly back home after we're done. I need to do my best for those guys as well. So we kind of pulled together as a team and I thought about them a lot. The accomplishments of Brad, Jerry, and the entire team were luckily caught on camera. 
and the result is nothing short of inspirational. I think one of the cool things about Godspeed is it wasn't planned. This was not a film that was planned out. It was me going to a buddy of mine, just a, a local video guy in Denver that did commercials for TV stations, saying, hey, you want to come along on this crazy race that Brad and I are doing? And you know, bring a camera along, just document some stuff. He said, yeah, I'll do that. That sounds great. I'll, I'll bed with you guys. And pretty soon there's another camera, and, a, and his son comes along, and they have 550 hours of film when the race is over and so they put Godspeed together. And for me, when I look at the film, I see Race Across America as a great metaphor for life. Because in life, it's an adventure. It can be an extremely rewarding adventure if you take advantage of it, if you go out and seize it. You get out of that chair and you, and you go live your dream, and if you have a passion, you, you go for it. And are there challenges? Absolutely. Is it risky? Yes, it is. But that's life, too, when you seize life. I'm hoping they stretch. I, I, I'm hoping they come out of it and they go, not just that was entertaining, but I've been thinking about this other thing in my life. Maybe it's work, maybe it's athletic, maybe it's a relationship. And they come out and they go, those were two pretty average guys, but they set this crazy goal, they got this incredible team around them, and they went for it, and they had a lot of struggles, and they really, there were brutal things out there. Wow, that was really cool. And not seeing us but seeing themselves in the film and saying, it's time.